Hello again, everybody. This is Double Talk 73. Uh, I hadn't been bass fishing in a while, and I just thought I'd make a video. <coughs> Excuse me, go down to Florida and see about catching some largemouth bass. I got two lures I'd like to use. One I haven't tried down here. You get it on one of the uh, mission trips that you go on. It's called the Trophy Frog Walker. Uh, I'm going to start off with my X Series Frog Popper, and then I'm going to change to that trophy and, and just see how good it does. Haven't ever, haven't tried it, so let me show you what we're going to be using. I'm going to use the uh, uh, River Tech Salaminator. Uh, 8 foot 10, I think it is. Anyhow, there it is, 8 foot 10. <laughs> Thunderspin 5500. See, that's 46 pound rod. 42 pound drag on your reel and 25 pound line now the reason I want that 25 pound line is because it's 44 pound test so it gives me a pretty good balance rig now there's some big fish down in Florida uh, big Florida gar and if you use a light rig uh, you could lose that lure now this lure the only way you get it is you have to finish first second or third in one of the uh, events, competition, whichever you want to call them, and besides gold coins or money, this is one of the uh, rewards. Or you can get it by staying 30 consecutive days or nights uh, in Louisiana. I have a video on that, how to do it. But to tell you the easy, you know, just go ahead and tell you, uh, get rid of all your gear, everything. Uh, you don't need anything to go fish. You don't need a license. Just go to Louisiana, and when it says to buy a license, you just say no. Okay, you go into a location, any of them, and you're going to go in in the morning. You advance to the night, okay? It's going to cost you one gold coin to advance to, let's say you go to 9 p.m., it's going to cost you one gold coin then to advance to the next night at 9 p.m. Don't go the morning. Go the next night at 9 p.m. Just use your roll uh, indicator on your mouse and just scroll through it. And then advance time. That's going to cost you $1,500, okay? You haven't caught any fish. We're not worried about that. This lure will more than make that money back. Okay. $1,500. Then you go ahead and extend time again, warp to 9 o'clock the next night. That time it doesn't cost you a gold coin. It's just you just go on. You extend the time, cost you $1,500. You just do that night after night after night after night. Now, in 30 times, it's going to cost you $45,000 in uh, advance fees, uh, advance charges. But it's, since you don't have any gear, when you finally get this lure on your 30th night and you come back out, you don't have any repair charges either because you haven't caught any fish, you haven't been using any gear. So that lure will cost you $45,000 game money and one bait coin. It's worth every penny of it. Okay. The other lure we're going to use is a trophy uh, frog popper. It's this one right here. Okay, it's a uh, five eighths ounce, and uh, you get it by doing one of the missions. I'm not, I'm not sure which one. I don't. I'm sorry, I don't remember. But uh, that's the way you get it. So we're gonna start off with the X, X series frog popper. Okay. Now I like to fish at night down in Florida. Uh, any pro bass fisherman or anybody that does a lot of fishing down in Florida in real life will tell you that the big bass come out at night. So what we're going to do is we're going to land here. That's the infinity tunnel, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Lily pad channel. Sorry, that's the infinity tunnel. Lily pad channel. That's where we want to fish. Okay. Go fishing. Uh, we're going to go right out here on the end of the dock. And I go just a little to the left. Okay? Not much. 
Now I'm going to warp to... Uh, did you see when our peak was? Our night peak? I'm sorry. We got a 9 o'clock night peak. So we're going to start at 9. Okay? And hopefully we can catch some fish. Hope we can catch some unis. That'd be nice. So we're going to warp to 9 p.m. And what I like to do is I like to catch a fish in one place fish in that cha in that channel and then rotate I'll show you what I mean if I catch one here I swing around and fish the other way fish another point and I like you know space bar to reel oops one speed I remember that one speed retrieve with a popper now you can take these poppers right across lily pads and they won't get hung up. That's the good thing about them. But usually when I fish this this lure down here, I don't catch very f anywhere from three or four commons per peak. Most of them are trophies or unis, which is kind of nice about it. Good start. See, I caught one there, and then I go over here, and I fish along this reed bed. If I catch one there, then I swing back to the tunnel again. That's just that's just my way. And it works for me, so maybe it'll work for you. Learn just a little bit, pass it on. That's the fisherman's way. I hope you like my video. If you do, please subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button down there. And click on that bell there besides so whenever I put up a new video you'll get notified and hopefully you want to watch some more now I've got about a hundred I think 119 120 videos out here on YouTube cover just a little bit about everything uh, some of them I've taken off because they they were no longer pertinent I took off all the fourth of july mission videos because they just uh, they don't do any good anymore because it was just for the uh, patriotic fish and uh, we don't catch them there we go that's already a uni what time was that that was at uh whoo that was quick cool okay 908 because these usually have a one hour spawn time so it's going we, we know it's not going to be so around 10 o'clock before we catch another uni most of the time. So let me see if I can catch one more trophy or common here. Oh, uh, that's a common. Yeah, and then we'll change to that trophy frog popper and see what it'll do. Okay. I've never tried it, so we'll find out what happens. One way you find out something is give it a try. But I still fish the same same places. And I fished down here once with a uh, with a guy who said he was a pro bass fisherman there in Florida, and he uh, <laughs> he said this game is is the closest thing he'd ever seen to real fishing he said he uses some of the techniques that he uses out on the water in this game and it catches fish he thought that was pretty cool but i hope this lure will produce that'll give me two weapons to use when i come down here caught that one it's about eight about 10 12 feet out so be sure you always bring her all work it all the way back into the dock or to the to the dock 
Well, you never know. Oh, did you hear that one? There was a hit at it. Just missed it. Come on, froggy, go a courtin'. A frog went a courtin', he did ridin'. Hmm. Frog went a courtin', he did ridin'. Hmm. Frog went a courtin', he did ride. Sword and pistol by his side. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Come on, big bass. Thank you, Big Bass. Trophy. Well, at least the lure's producing. That's that's a good thing. So now I know I have... Ooh, that's a nice one, too. At least now I know I have two weapons I can use down here. That's good. Same deal. I'm going to use this big rig. This 44-pound, fairly well-matched rig so that if... One of those Florida Gar decide, and they, they'll come, they'll get pretty big. They'll get in the 25, 30 pound range. Or if one of them comes along and decide it wants to grab a hold of that lure, that lure I've got out there, I don't want to lose it. They, uh, you have to earn them. And now that these, these missions are over, you can't get that trophy frog popper anymore. And I can't get another 30 days in Louisiana that's the way I got mine and the events where it is a reward I'm not any good at so I've got to take care of mine and I know of some people that have fished down here that you were using lighter rigs so they get more XP lost theirs not good see there was another hit Okay. And one guy lost his on a small fish. <laughs> and he contacted the devs, and boy, he was really upset about it. And it's a guy, one of the PHs, that had fished here a long time. And they gave it back to him. Never heard of him do that before. But my understanding is that those that have the PH designate them designation before their name which is the pro hookers club were the first I don't know 250 300 that started playing the game so they've been around a long time some of those guys you see them they're at level 50 with a rank of, I saw one the other day it was a thousand and something that's that's rank I think I've been fishing a long time. Well, uh, looks like it's doing pretty good. Let's see. Well, it's just 931. Time either drags or flies when you're having fun. Looks like it's doing a little bit better than that X series frog popper. That's, that's okay too. Let's try it out here on the end of that reed bed and see what we get. Now I've tried these over where the peacock bass are. And uh, didn't have much luck. There, something hit it again hard. Missed it. Well, I know the X-Series frog popper works good for 
smallmouth and largemouth in Louisiana. I'll have to try this trophy frog popper and see what it'll do. Guy told me it was good on spotted bass. We'll find out. Experiment. That's the way you learn. Just go and give it a try. Hope you don't lose nothing. <laughs> Might gain a little knowledge. Something again. I can hear you. Came back in. Another trophy. It came back and got it. Oh, what a trophy. <gasps> Fake me out. Now, when I'm using lures like this, I use that right button, that blue circle, to aim about 99% of the time. Put you in a better position to put that lure where you really want it. Better opportunity to catch fish. And we're going to... Ah, there was another one. They like this thing. They just hit it hard enough to get hooked up. Let's see, if I can see if it's still there. And I like the right side of the tunnel better. Oops. See, bad cast. Sorry. One guy I fished with here one day, a while back, he liked the left side best. It's dependent on where you catch fish. I seem to have more luck on the right side. I suggest you try both. Find out what works for you. To each his own. Decided to put the garbage cans <coughs> out on the road for the garbage man a while ago. And I walked by a little flower bed that my wife has some pots in. And there was a little old toad. It wasn't the size of a dime hopping across the driveway. It was That's about the smallest toad I think I've ever seen. It was a little old dinky thing. I just leave it alone let it go on. That small bird will get it <laughs> if it can't stay hid. And it was dark, so they wasn't going to see it in the dark. But it was dark, dark, dark green. A little brown on it. Most toads are brown. Tree frog. Tree toad. Oh, stay up there. Get back up there. No. No, gotta get up higher than that. Well, I guess not. There we go. Okay, that was at 9.54. That's right around 10 o'clock. So we caught one with our... X series frog popper and one with the trophy frog popper. So that's that's good information. That's good information. We'll catch one more fish and then we'll call this video a, a wrap. So I hope you like my video. And if you do, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. If there's something that you'd like to see me catch or 
some fish that you're having trouble finding or whatever, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you. But I appreciate you watching. Uh, tight lines, good luck. God bless you and your family. And uh, I hope you catch a bunch of fish. I hope you catch a bunch of big fish. And uh, we're going to finish reeling this one in. And y'all come back now, you hear? Thanks again for watching.